Our hymn of the day, Alleluia, Song of Gladness, has a text from an 11th century Latin hymn. The tune is Praise My Soul by Sir John Galls. The original text, Alleluia, Duce, Carmen, is found in three 11th century manuscripts at Oxford, Durham, and in the British Museum. The Reverend Dr. James Mason Neal translated the original text published in 1851 in Latin hymns of the Anglo-Saxon Church and medieval hymns. Born in London in 1818, Neil's father, the Reverend Cornelius Neil, was senior wrangler, second chancellor's medalist, and a fellow of St. John's College, Cambridge. Educated at Sherborne Grammar School, founded by St. Altham in 705, he went up to Trinity College, Cambridge in 1836, gained a scholarship, was deemed the best man, and he won the Stentonian Prize for Religious Poetry 11 times, taking his degree in 1840. Although chronically ill, Neil was ordained in the Church of England in 1842, but his ill health and his strong support of the Oxford movement barred him from ordinary parish ministry. For 20 years, beginning in 1846, he was a warden of Sackville College in East Grinstead, a retirement home for poor men where his unbounded charity was extended to everyone. He expanded to indigenous women and orphans to the founding of the Sisters of St. Margaret, one of the finest English training orders for nurses. Responsible for over 400 hymns, he introduced hymns of Latin, Greek, Russian, and Syrian origin to English speakers. He died in 1866 and is buried there in East Grimstead. John Goss's music will be familiar. It is the hymn, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. Hence the tune's name, Praise My Soul. Goss was born in 1800 in Farham, Hampshire. His father, John Goss, was organist at the parish church there. Goss began his schooling at age eight at the Ringwood School. Three years later, at age 11, he was sent off to London to become a chorister at the Chapel Royal. His organ teacher was the organist at St. Paul's Cathedral, Thomas Atwood, who himself, Atwood, studied with Mozart and counted Mendelssohn as a friend. Goss also sang in the opera chorus at Convict Garden. Beginning as an organist at a chapel in South London, he moved to the more prestigious organ post at St. Luke's Church, Chelsea, eventually becoming the organist himself at St. Paul's Cathedral, where he served from 1838 to 1872. While at St. Paul's Cathedral, he also taught harmony as a professor at the Royal Academy of Music. Among his pupils during his 47 tenure at the Academy was the famous, famous English composer Arthur Sullivan. Arguably, however, his best known pupil at St. Paul's was John Stainer, who succeeded him as cathedral organist. Back when Goss was a Chapel Royal chorister, the master of the choir at that time was John Stafford Smith. Smith composed the official song of the Anacreontic Society, an 18th century gentleman's club of amateur musicians in London. The club was named after the ancient Greek poet Anacreon, who was renowned for his drinking songs and odes to love, as were obviously the members of the club as well. Stanford Smith also wrote the club's theme song 
to Anacreon in Heaven, which interestingly became the tune of the American National Anthem. Goss is, died in London in 1880 and is buried in St. Paul's Cathedral. Thank you.